Yo, what's going on? It's your man Loza. We're going through my Numeron Neos OTK deck. I won locals with it just the other night. Online locals. Uh, let's go through it card by card. I've got one copy of Aqua Fresh here, the best elemental hero. Uh, Rainbow Dark Dragon and Driver. Of course, I'm playing them to go along with the Neos Fusion and the Gamma Package. This is the craziest thing in the deck, and I'll get to it later. Um, so we got Ash, pretty generic. Pankratops, best going second card. The Wind Kaiju, because I'm still scared of Bird Up, but I think it's it's safe to change this to Gamma Seal. But honestly, it doesn't matter. The attack being higher is irrelevant, because the Numerons are DoTK through it anyway. Planet Pathfinder is the new best card in this deck, because not only does it bait Ash... And if you have Gamma, you can obviously chain that, but you normally don't even want to do it then. You can then play Numeron, uh, you can then play Memories of Hope for free and draw four because they've asked you on here. So that's cool. Um, Numeron Wall, best card in your deck, I want to say. Uh, it sucks if you've already built a board and then you have to use its effect, but it's the best card to get you out of getting OTK. It's the best card to get you two engine at the start. So all round good card. Um, it's Powcrap Battle Fader. Who thought that was a good idea? Harpy's Feather, Duster, and Lightning Storm. I don't need to talk about these. You know what they do? They just win you the game playing second, or they force the, the Tribe Brigade Revolt. They force Schism. I don't know. They force random shit, so it's just good. Uh, this is the meme card. We draw four. We summon four. We draw four. Um, you can brick on this, so I normally side two to three out sometimes. It's probably my go-to side card. Uh, but um, it is a fun card. It's a meme card. If you resolve it, you're in a really good spot. Um, this is the glue. This is the craft glue that holds together this shitty clusterfuck of a deck. This card is a better ref. And I would argue that this is a better monster than D Dragoon. Which sounds really fucked up to say considering how good Dragoon is. But this card, in an OTK sense like Numerons... Mesh is better than Dragoon. I've played a lot of Dragoon, Numeron, Invoked. I know that sounds like a mess, but I topped with it a lot of locals. Um, and by a lot, I mean like two or three times. But hey, that's a lot for me. <laughs> um, so what this deck does better than that is you can actually resolve the Numeron summons and then go Neos Fusion and swing for game. Like with four Numerons and a Rainbow Neos. It's, that's crazy. That's so much damage, not to mention Rainbow Neos' effects are crazy. Um, not just that, but you can Rainbow Neos, you can Numeron Network, and if your opponent has a response, you have Gamma, you have Droplets. Normally when you play Ref, you cannot Gamma if they Ash you, and people always want to Ash the Ref. Naturally here, people want to Ash the Neos Fusion. And if you have Gamma, you just you punish them. And you might think, oh, if, if I'm trying to summon Numerons, I need no board, so why would I want to summon Gamma and Driver? Well, my good friend, of course you remember... Cyframe Omega has his great effect. If your opponent's got a card in the hand, you can just send him to the Banished Zone and he leaves the field, meaning you can resolve your Numeron network. So don't worry about clogging your field with Gamma and Driver because you can easily send them away with this. Uh, if you really need to, you can literally make Anaconda. Uh, I never make Anaconda in this build. You could probably cut it. Uh, let's just move on with the cards though. So next is just some Numeron bricks you have to play. So we play like five bricks in this deck, but hey, it is what it is. Um, Terraformings gets a little bit of consistency. One triple tactics, pretty questionable, but hey, you never brick on it. <laughs> you love to see it. Um, it's more of a going first card, you might argue, for the draw two, but the stealing the monster. I I've stolen Dragoons. Like, you just win with it. It's stupid. Um, Called by the Grave, you want your Neos Fusion to resolve, or you want your Planet Pathfinder to resolve sometimes if you have no Gamma or droplets it's just another way to confirm that you get the card effects off that you need droplets is doing the exact same thing uh, it actually can give you otk as well because it halves the attack of monsters which has come up a couple of times for the numerons which is very good if your opponent has a very big board it's often worth dropleting your whole hand sometimes besides your network just to halve the attack of them all so you can go swing 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 with all the numerons for game absolutely crazy card in numerons i'm going to try to pick some up irl but they're really expensive right now so reprint cheap reprint please konami give uh, i don't need to explain what this card does it's absolutely phenomenal it ties the deck together red reboot i saw this card twice in the finals and it's the only reason i won sorry logan it's that's just how it be you <laughs> um Red Reboot in this deck's even better than in, I would say, the Dragoon build that I used to play because 
Neos has a shuffling back row effect. So you literally red reboot them, they set all their back row, and your Neos fusion resolves, and out comes this guy, and you just have to have a spell trap that you can send to the grave, and Neos will shuffle them all back in, so... It's crazy, it's really good. Let's go to the extra deck. I've already spoken about these two cards, you know what they do. I think you know what the Numerons do, it's just summon 4 OTK. If that doesn't work out, or if you're playing first, and you resolved Memories of Hope, you know there's no Ash, you can go for Skull Dread and draw some more. If you want, it's pretty greedy, but like, you're in a very good spot. You may as well draw more hand traps. If you notice, my side deck is a lot of hand traps, so you, you'll see why Skull Dread's useful. Um, Mega Clops. Still a lot of decks can't out Mega Clops. It's absolutely crazy. Shadows can't out it, unless they play the shit Shadol card, the new one, and Shekinaga, I believe. One guy at Locals is playing that now, but like, if you've got some random Shadol player online, they will not be playing that shit, so you'll be fine. Um, this also just beats a lot of random decks. Heaps of decks don't have outs to it, or you force them to use their droplets, their Dragon Maid tidying on this, which means you can hopefully resolve a Neos Fusion later or something, I don't know. Uh, Anaconda, a card that you could definitely flex and cut out. I haven't really used it yet, because if you normal summon in this deck, you're tributing it straight away, which is also the best thing about this card. It gets off the field so you can resolve your networks or your gammas, or like you can gamma after it and whatnot. Just another perfect card for this deck. Absolutely crazy. And of course, Psyframe Lambda. Ah, uh, this card is really good when you've just opened a couple too many gammas. Um, I think everyone knows how to use it, but it does come up, and it sometimes can be better than going into Mega Clops if you've got enough gammas in the hand. If you've got a hand of hand traps, you may as well go into this. But honestly, Mega Clops is normally just great with hand traps. Um, let's move to the side. And speaking of hand traps, Nibiru. This card interacts really well with Mega Clops because Mega Clops is not tributed by Nibiru. So a lot of games at locals, I will side this in, and against Salad mainly, and if I've made Mega Clops pass, because I've went first, or they've forced me to first, I hopefully have the Nibiru, and I can end up tributing their whole field, and then I've got a 3k body and a 4k body, and like, I'm just oh, a thousand off lethal, that's just absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, they have a token, but like, come on, we probably have a way to neg the token, hopefully. Um... Anyway, let's move on to the next couple of cards. I'm not really too sure about these yet. I'm just playing a fourth Kaiju because everybody is starting to play Adignista, and I think Kaiju just completely make that deck irrelevant. They put all their resources into a Link 6, and it's a really good card. I think the deck's actually really good, but they do just lose to a Kaiju. Just play the damn Kaiju. Uh, I'm playing Alpha because I'm playing so many Kaijus. I could probably play a better card here, but the fact that this synergizes so well with Kaijus and the Numeron engine, I love it. I really love it. And by the synergy I'm talking about with the Numerons, it's the fact that you play it, you force your opponent to have a response, like have a negate. Or like You hope it's a negate and destroy. Or you force them to do nothing and just let it come back to your hand. And then, of course, you can do all your Numeron network stuff. And your gamma's live once again. So this card is just great for baiting. Not only that, if you've kaiju them, it's great to just grab that kaiju back, give them the kaiju again if they have a board of multiple disruptions. You either force one of their other disruptions, or they let it go and you just kaiju them again. So, good card, good card. Um, the summoning is not once per turn, so you can bring it out again if you have no other plays. I, I don't see myself doing that just yet, but might happen. Uh, Lancia, what's there to say about Lancia? This card is busted. It completely defeats um, Tri Brigade. It shuts down Phantom Knight combo stuff in Warrior decks. It shuts down Invoked when they've played their Invo. You chain this and they fucking cry. Card is great and it's not once per turn. So if it gets called by or they negate it, if you have another one, you just slap it down again. A lot of people don't remember that. So do it. It's good. Good card. Um, you can even set this in the spell trap zone if you have Rainbow Neos and you need a spell trap to send for its effect. So don't forget that. This card doubles up as a monster or a spell trap. Very useful. Alright, Droll Knockboard coming Droll Knock Burb is coming back because Drytron exists. I hate Drytron, and no hand traps here really hit Drytron that well. I would say the Kaijus probably do the best job. So against Drytron, I would probably side in the Drolls and the Kaiju. I think Nibiru is kind of shit against them. That's about it. Cosmic Cyclone is purely here for Mystic Mine Hate, Shadol Hate, and any other backer like Eldlich. Any other engines like that that you see, 
This card, you just want to have it. Uh, I know we're playing Lightnings and uh, Harpies, but normally against those decks, you don't mind having a little bit extra. Um, and if it comes to time, you can just side them back out for some random powerful hand traps or something. Anyway, that's my entire deck. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you play a similar build. Let me know what you think was bad. Let me know what you think was good. Uh, I'm mainly making this for myself so I can reflect on this deck later in case I want to use it in a later tournament. Or maybe I'll look back on this and say, hey, why did I play this build? It's terrible. But anyway, thanks for watching and catch ya.